them to pick. of the fact that Lil was leeching that experience, but DJ, very low, solo, took, gave him a lot of damage with his auto attacks, and the Void comes out, and Lil comes in with a TP squad there, he knew it was a bait, and nothing comes of it from this oh, nice stalker. Oh, now coming up these stairs, too, as DJ comes up. He didn't think it was worth it to go oh, for Fisher. Void coming out, they have Shackles, Fisher. It might save him, but the slow is there from the Night Stalker. He might actually be fine. Another Void in two seconds. The Nature's Prophet TP. They've got the Nature's Wrath as well. They're going to get one. They might get two. The Shackles will come in, and Pile I Die will fall. It looks like Lil will help get the kill as Solo throws out the Aether. These two heroes, too tanky, and the Night Stalker, he'll be able to make it away. And maybe go heal back up real quick. If this game gets to old, look at this top lane. Yeah, Envy's in trouble. Shackles coming out. Plenty of damage from the Nature Prophet. Plus the Reaper Scythe there. That will get the kill. And that'll do it. He'll drop it, but uh, the Creep Wave will spot him. That'll probably get dewarded here in the near future. But uh, they're diving in. Lil looking for a void. Nature's Wrath coming in. The Sonic Wave on to two. And the Dire Courier will fall. Plus the Shackles will get two kills. That is disastrous for Fnatic. And they might find more if they're not careful. On you know, pile uh, I die. That one does hit couriers. Get out, making an easy play for the Radiant and quickly turning that into a tier one. And what's happening on the other side of the maps while this is going on here? We have Ohio really just kind of pushing enough top, can't really commit to anything, a little bit too risky. And bottom lane, in fact, it's actually Radiant pressure there as well. So big wins all around. It's a 5k lead. They are not messing around this game. VP trying to put a show on here and just say, okay, okay, you guys won game one, but we're the major winners here. Oh, Excalibur looks to be dead here. He's trying to man fight. It is daytime now. Ramsey's no Reapers available, but more than enough damage to get the kill. Lil is in some trouble. Envy's chasing him down, but the other side, Sprout comes in trying to make sure Pilot Eye can't chase Pasha down. Not enough damage to kill him. No one will pick up a DD. Maybe they try to fight this. Lil gonna get dropped down by Envy. Blinking away is no one, so it will be a one yeah, with Serpent Wards, now it gets easier to take down towers, and they already have the Nature's Prophet already. A four-staff finished up for Ramses. He's got phase boots as well, looking for more. Pasha trying to chase down Pile I Die, but he's going to get in behind the tower and towards it, of course, is a... Uh, oh, there's the Ravage up top, trying to solo kill on a solo. Mm, solo, solo, but he's not going to drop, not just yet anyway. It looks like he might be able to make an out. No, the Gush will come through, but that is a solo Ravage down. Envy's going to be tanky enough, really. I mean, it's going to be risky. Uh, but those are the kind of plays they're going to have to try and find because right now they are losing this map very, very quickly. I mean, you got snakes down bottom, you got treants up top. Lil just kind of sitting here with nighttime ready. Looks like it's turning into a disaster. And there it is. The darkness will come out. Lil will fly over Ohio, who's swimming. The backstroke coming through. Envy TV's up with meta. Ramses needs to be careful. Great Sonic wave from Ramses. The Reapers, and Envy is done. And just as soon as he comes in, he comes right back out. Pilot Dai is going to throw up the Arctic Burn. Ohio getting chased down. This is already a disaster. They should find another kill. Blinken, body blocks there from no one. The Death Pulse will do the job. A double kill and a dominating spree for Ramses. The Sprout will come out. Lil will continue to chase Pilot Dai. He's in the tree line again. I feel like we've seen a lot of pilot die in the tree line uh, today, but uh, the darkness, the oh, hunter hello. in the night, and he's gonna find him. Pilot is like, not again, you've gotta be kidding me. Lil will chase him down the void, is up the crippling fear is there. Doesn't have the cold embrace or the winter's curse to save him, and a mega kill spree for Ram's active. But top lane, they've got the silence up under the tide hunter, and it's the crippling fear. No one has uh, already dropped the veil on him. The hood comes out, the body blocks again. I feel like I've seen this movie before. The void will come in, crack and shell, keeping him alive for now. The shadow strike in, the courier will fall. Pasha gets another one. The sprout comes out. He'll coin blade his way through. Ohio's backstroking, but he backstrokes right into a sonic wave and into his death. They need the mobility on DJ. Oh my they need god. The levels on Pilot. Pilot is not even level six yet. Yeah. He, uh, he can't quite get there. Oh, he's so he's close. Like level eight Night Stalker he's to help still this not one. there, and he's going to die to the Orchid Burn. Oh, man. They just they just looked away. <laughs> they just, like, like the, the Solburn's got him. him off there. Like, yeah, at that man. point, it's done, though. So it is rough. Meanwhile, they're going to find Envy in the top lane. The Reaper Scythe will come out and secure the kill there. And they're not say, even moving over there. If there's anything this draft is lacking from the Radiant, it is probably that counter initiation stuff. So if, uh, if one of them does get picked off, they don't really have a chance to keep like fighting into it. Like they need some big play in the Queen of Pain. You can't like miss any of your spells. All right. You need to make sure they keep executing. They're going to find Solo. He's going to actually get Ghost Scepter off. He has Ghost Scepter somehow. There's going to be a Ravage coming in, committed on no one. He does have an Aegis. They will get one. They'll get two now as they get Solo on the back lines. Can they bring down no one twice? They've got the stun coming with the Enchant Totem, but the Fisher is too slow to follow up. Little dump snakes. Uh, on this tower, it's pretty low already. 
we're going to try and avoid it. Uh, they have the prop in the mid, too. All right, he's going to join down bottom. So this should be able to... No, okay. Well, if we can get a kill. Yeah, sure. they got the shackles. There's the Reapers coming out. That will get an easy kill. Now Ramsey's is looking for more. The courier dropped again. The mech was delivered as he got Reapered, which was unfortunate timing for Ohio. So be vulnerable to follow up stuff while you're trying to kill them. Maybe if you can bait out a site and someone manages to survive, that could be a pretty big one where you could actually fight back with DJ top. There's Excellent a slam. slam. Tons of damage. Yeah, nature's profit. So that's one ultimate down, but they secure have been in situations where they've been ahead before. They really don't want this to go down by the wayside. They really wanted to get this win. And uh, Pasha was looking to be aggressive, but for now the Shadow Blade will wear off. Bottom lane, though, they're chasing onto Ohio and Pile I Die. He's got that Octarine Core, man. He, he might be willing to throw this thing out here. Yeah, no one looking for a target. Here comes the TP from the Nature's Prophet, Pasha. He's got the Sprite, he'll use it onto Ohio, but the Coin Blade comes spreading. out immediately. Pile I Die going for the TP, but there's the Void coming in from Lil. Another kill going the way of Virtus. Once they really spread. All right, put the snakes down. We've got to watch out for that Witness Curse. Got to watch out for DJ. Let's deal with that illusion real quick. Uh, this thing is falling pretty fast. Oh yeah, he's so close to the Hexon Lil too. You really wish you had it right about now. Courier will oh, fall again. Alright. Nice. Yeah, they need something here. I don't know what, but they need something. And uh, Ohio's cold is just so strong right now. Agonist Scepter for Lil. There's the Ravage coming out. Ohio will lead the way. So spread, Echo Slam. They've got it on Ramses. He has cheese to work with. He's still alive for now. He's gonna get dropped down. They blow him away. The Familiar Stones were able to keep him locked down long enough that it's it, but they use so many ultimates there. They're going to lose DJ. Ohio might be next if he's not careful. Envy will pop the meta at this point in time. In the meanwhile, bottom lane solo is just working on these racks. He's already taken the tier 3 tower down. He might lose his left X Excalibur. I don't think he really cares. Here comes the Nature's Prophet. In fact, they're going to turn. The Ghost Scepter comes out from solo, and Excalibur is dead. In the meantime, back up top lane. No one going on to Ohio. They're going to get the dire bottom range racks. Ohio is still in trouble top lane with the Shiva's Guard. Lil going to work. He's just backstroking it up. There's not much he can do at this point. No Ravage available. No Echo Slam available. DJ, uh, he's down for 15. You don't have Excalibur for 30. Meta's about to be down for Envy at this point. Ramsey's is back up in 30 seconds, and uh, I don't know what you do. You're going to lose Rack's bottom. And it's the, it's more than the beginning of the end at this point for Fnatic. It just feels rough. This is kind of stuff that just puts BP in the next level in terms of teams. I mean, shows why they're way up there right now. This is the kind of thing that usually happens as well. Pasha, he might escape here. Uh, uh, Wonder Chris stops. comes out. He will go down, but the damage has been done. One rack's down now, and Fnatic, they're fighting to the bitter end. They make sure they can get any advantage they can. Roche up in three minutes. The Aegis is about to go. They'll find uh, an Orchid up onto Ohio. Good cold embrace coming out. The Glimmer Cape as well, and somehow Ohio is live. Even the Sonic Wave coming in. Echo Slam, they'll find the Queen of Pain. The Ravage will come out, and they've already lost the Aegis, and so now no one will fall. Dead for 76 seconds, and they'll turn on to Lil. That's a huge winner's curse. He looks like he'll drop two. Ramses pops the Ghost Shroud in the meantime. Envy trying to chase him down. Good force oh, the high, high ground, ground though. No. And they've got the Familiars to chase him down. He's in trouble. He can't move further. They're going to bring him down as well, and that's three dead for Virtus Pro. Excalibur will get a double kill. In the meantime, mid, the TP will be successful coming in from the Nature Prophet. He will get the Tier 3 tower. They try to chase him down, Hunter in the Night coming out. There's the Void. Good vision coming in. The Crippling Fear as well. He's going to get Hex once more. Shackles back up, ready to go. Shiva's Guard jumping in, looking for... He has been... Ohio has been very tanky this game. Like, they have had a lot of trouble killing him. Yeah, he also probably has the least important of the ultimates, honestly. Uh, it's more about the Echo Slam, the Winner's Curse. And if he can set those up just by being focused by a bunch of heroes, not necessarily ravaging, that should be fine. Uh, speaking of uh, the big focusing... Echo Slam, Slam comes out. He's going to BKB and Shadowblade out. They'll dust him. Sprout comes in. He'll go for the TP and Chant Totem. And he's gone. No way to cancel that TP. So the BKB coming in. They didn't have the familiars in place in order to actually... Uh, disable him, so he's fine. Lil will go for Excalibur. They're going to have another TP incoming from the Queen of Pain. He's trying to bring down the creep. Couldn't do so in time, and that means Excalibur will fall. Desolator from Pasha. There's the Reapers coming out. They really wanted to make sure they got that on him. He's going to walk straight out. The Glyph is gone. Serpent Wards have dropped mid lane. It's the double wards, and they're about to bring down the racks. At the very least, the range racks will fall. Maybe Pasha's going to reveal himself, and then... They're going to go on him. They know the Treants are here. They have a good feeling, perhaps, that he's down in this bottom lane. Excalibur's a little bit DJ just saw him, I think. The, the Blink's going to come in. He's going to BKB. Pasha getting chased down. He's going to go for the TP. I think he's gone. No, the Winter's Curse comes out. And they will be able to get this kill then. The BKB now down. The Fisher comes out. 
All right, big pickup. 82 yeah, seconds. Top lane. Excalibur was pinging. He was looking. It's solo. Yeah, he has He's a haste rune. Snake one. He has a haste rune. Refresher. Drop that mistake. Snake two. There he the goes. Cheese. He pops the cheese. Snake, snake three. three. Oh my god, he actually did it. He actually got the three snakes, and he's going to get the top racks within seconds. Not only that, but these little mini buildings, they're all going to fall. It's Megas in the meantime. No one might fall, but he's got Aegis to work with in the meantime. Buyback comes in from the Earthshaker, and they've got to do something here. Posh can buy back if he wants to. Echo Slam coming in. They will take down no one. The Queen of Pain dead for 100 seconds, but the damage has been four minutes into the game. And Fnatic, they've got a mountain to climb. I, I mean, it's pretty much an impossible mountain to climb at this point. They'll try to find Excalibur. He's going to get orchided up. The Desolator doing some work. Posh is going to be KB. There's the dust. Do they have the Warder's Curse? They do. And that'll stop it. He's done this twice now. They're defending. They'll grab another kill. One down, a million to go, essentially. Here comes oh, the wards drop down. The buyback coming in. Ravage will come through. Hits on pretty much everybody. They really want Solo. They can't quite get him. On the other side, Pile I Die orchid it up. He will get off the Glimmer Cape in time. There's going to be Ramsey throwing out that Reaper Sight. They'll get the kill on the Tide Hunter. Forced to buy back. Pile I Die is dropped down. Everybody buying back from Fnatic, but at this point, it's too little, too late. They're overrunning the base. Sonic Wave will come through. Pasha does go down in the meantime. Dead for 100 seconds. Lil going toe to toe with Ohio. Ramsey's backing away, trying to heal back up. DJ still has that Echo Slam, looking for a target here. Echo Slam coming in onto two. Fisher following up as well. Lil, they're looking to go on him. They've got the Anchor Smash doing some damage coming in, but no one's still fighting fit. Shiva's guard at the ready, jumping in, scream of pain aplenty. And they're going to grab two kills. The Ancient now under fire from these Mega Creeps. Ohio, Cold Embrace to stay alive for now. Envy is metamorphosis up and trying to fight Ramses. Pops the Ghost Shroud. No one's still again fighting. Doing so much damage with these Screams of Pain. Jumping back and forth across the base. Okay, we got to come out. in five seconds. He's got another cheese. Solo's just been walking around. He's just been meandering. He went down to the grocery store. <laughs> He's got the cheese ready to go. Well, there we go. He pops Finish it up. One off here and and there it is. Rasta style. And that should be it. They're fighting across the base. They'll kill no one, but at this point, the game is over. Virtus Pro have done it. 45 minutes in. A marathon of a game fanatic. It's...